approximately five minutes away from the start of the 2007 Urban Challenge. Again, this is uh, Dr. Norman Whitaker, Program Manager for the DARPA Urban Challenge. Thanks very much, Don, and welcome to everybody. We're very excited to be here this morning. I know it's a little chilly and, and early, but uh, we promise it's going to be an exciting and interesting day. Uh, my last name is spelled W-H-I-T-A-K-E-R. I'm from DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency. We're the central research organization for the Department of Defense. Uh, we conduct leading edge and far out projects that uh, push the, the boundaries of technology. We've been looking at the problem of uh, protecting people on the battlefield for quite a while now. Aerial vehicles have been very successful. Unmanned aerial vehicles have, that are used extensively uh, in the military context. And we're now looking at the, the ground problem in terms of uh, unmanned ground vehicles. And that led us to take on the, the problem of uh, building a community that could tackle the very difficult problem of keeping people safe on the battlefield. About three years ago, in 2004, we had the first DARPA Urban Challenge, DARPA Grand Challenge, where we took vehicles into the desert, we launched them. Uh, the best vehicle went about seven miles. We tried it again in 2005. We had 195 entrants. We had five finishers that went 132 miles in the desert. Just a tremendous amount of energy uh, was built uh, as a result of that event. So we've got university teams and corporate teams who've been contacting us and working with us and defining the, the path forward in terms of uh, autonomous ground vehicles. Uh, just so you know, these are vehicles that are fully self-contained. You put them on the start line, you push the button, and they go. There's no remote control, there's no, there's no animal or midget inside or anything else controlling it. It's totally under the control of its, its uh, mission computer. Give us your best 
We really, you know, obviously don't know. We have to wait for the uh, data logs on the truck to be evaluated, and DARPA's kind of got a quarantine there. Okay. Uh, I would strongly, uh, I would be very surprised if it was a sensor. There was no obvious damage or anything. I, I wouldn't anticipate that kind of thing at all. Okay. Uh, we were certainly running the course at, at competitive speeds. We had achieved uh, four of the six uh, submission checkpoints on the first mission. So I think we were doing really well. Uh, we've done a lot of uh, simulation, we've done a lot of testing, and uh, just don't know at this point just what our fatal flaw was.